All right, so I kind of went over this before. Just using the body mesh to create clothing off of it. I've already established the volumes. My, you know, it's just like a very quick way to it's like could get you that far and you know working in space, working in three dimensions. Um, so and then from here she has like this this particular dress shape. It's 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 almost like five bells sitting on top of each other. So I'm just gonna create this kind of the top of the dress. Maybe I'll go a little bit extra just so I have all that covered. What should I do with this one? Say that's the basic top shape I want. Um, extract and subtool. Remember, it doesn't it doesn't create the mesh until you hit accept. So you hit extract, you kind of see what you get. Um, I might actually zoom in just so I can see things better. Go this way. Um, so that was way too thick, 0 0.02. So let me go 0 0.005. So it's like a quarter of what it was. Okay, say that's acceptable. Hit accept, I have solo turned on. So it creates a separate subtool for you. There it is, right below it. Um, by default, it has everything that was masked before on the body still masked. So it's only the thickness that's unmasked. Okay, and also it, it sets up some nice polygroups for you. So the front and the back side are the same polygroups, and then the thickness becomes a separate. Poly group, which can be nice if you want to mask things off easily and you want to change what's going on. So you don't want it to be just a, a straight extrude. Um, so here I have like far too much detail by default. And I have this crazy shape under the scapula here. Obviously, I don't want that in there. So I could spend time just kind of sculpting this out a little bit and smoothing. Um, so that was a quick way to just get you started on um, some clothing shapes. Um, for the most part, though, this is just too high res to work with. So I think when I was showing this before, I was like, get this going, do some quick changes anyway. Let's see this back. It's mostly kind of eyeballing the flow here. What are the edges doing? I'll get, get rid of some of the internal form I don't need and then. Make sure this edge is flowing nicely. It's not too wobbly. So I want, basically, I want to get to a point where I can say, okay, that's pretty happy with that. Let me do now geometry Z remesh. And let's just see what we get. Okay, it's nice. It's a nice layout. It's not. It's not perfect because this kind of cuts in a little bit. But I think if you were to sculpt with that and start smoothing it, you're not fighting the topology at this point. As you smooth it, you're going to get like a nice line through there. Okay, so let's say that's like my sculpting mesh for the top 